Welcome back to Blar Random Work Reviews. This is my Versa System X-Men deck. So it's really a Jean Grey Wolverine deck focused on Jean Grey and Wolverine. So really the five drop Jean Grey. Some would call it like an angry redhead deck, but it, I don't think it's that build actually. So two we have Jean Grey, on three we have Wolverine, Lady Mastermind, we also have Beast on two, and Siren. On four we have Jean Grey, Jean Grey, Iceman, and Richter. So four Iceman because you really want him on turn four. And on turn five, of course, we have the five drop Jean Grey that grows bigger when you put Jean Grey's into the KO pile before she comes out. A Colossus and a Cyclops that can't get stunned uh, when he's attacking from the back row, I think. On six is Rogue, who KOs a Defender when she stuns them. Storm and a Cable. So, of course, with this deck, we want Odd Initiative. Seven is Juggernaut. And the Wolverine. Two equipments. Muramasa Blade. And a jetpack. I don't have very many Muramasa Blades. So that's why there's this one. Mirror Island. Danger Room. Worthington Industries. Madripoor. Uh, Xavier Institute. Cerebra. Madripoor. For locations. Our plot twist is going to be Duck and Cover. Flying Kick. Splendid. Splintering Conscious, Meltdown, Children of the Atom, Vamp, Turnabout, Tech Upgrade to get the Blade, Fastball Special, some Recovery, Rapid Fire, Trick Shot, Pathetic Attempt, Air Strike, Sneak Attack, Battle Tactics, Insect Swarm, So these are the focus. You really want that number three Wolverine out with the blade because he's a 6-6, six, six, becomes an 8-6 and KOs people. And Jean Grey, of course, you want it on turn five. So let's shuffle up. So deck has a little bit of draw on it. Not much, but it's still pretty consistent. A couple shuffles. These sleeves are very old. This is a great trading card game, even though it's not around anymore. Definitely the best one I've ever played. Again, this is old versus system, not 2 PCG box. Not good versus system. Alright, on two, we don't have a one drop, so that's fine. So we skip our turn one. But we got the two, so we keep this. We're going to put in Flying Kick into our resource row. Then draw for turn two. So some choices. We have Beast and two Jean Greys. So that Jean Grey is a little bit bigger with the 3-2. But this Jean Grey draws a card. And I'd rather draw a card at this point. Because you can use the other Jean Grey to just power her up. Beast is very good if you miss Jean Grey. But we do want her in the KO pile. So we're going to put him into the resource row. Play Jean Grey comes in, we get to draw a card. And we're going to draw... Beast. <laughs> so it filters him out, so that's fine. We're going to power her up probably for defense. Draw for turn three. A location, so that's good. Got a danger room. That goes into the row. We have our three drop Wolverine, who is really big, 6 6. You have to reveal an X Men character in your hand to recruit him. We have plenty of X Men, so that's fine. There's Beast. We also got the Blade, which is nice, which makes him an 8 6. And when he stuns someone, he cannot recover, so he pretty much KOs them, and they're off the board. So, very devastating. Flip up, danger room. Gives them plus one um, defense or plus one attack, depending what row they're in, front or back. So, odds would be our initiative, hopefully, because that's how this deck 
you want you want odd initiative. Draw two. Got some plot twists, so that's good. We got Vamp and Battle Tactics. Throw this into the row. We're on turn four, so Iceman, this is a very good four drop. I'll throw him in the back because he has range. Got a little circle on the bottom left. Wolverine doesn't have range, so we'll keep him up front. So it's defensive turn, him being 8 6. Wolverine's probably going to stun somebody. Uh, X Men's effect, I mean, Ice Men's effect probably goes off. Going to keep Wolverine actually. So we're ducking cover into the row. We are now on turn 5. So we want Jean Grey out, who has range. She'll go in the back row. Interest play with plus one, plus one counter. For each Jean Grey in the KO pile, we have two. So you want to try and get more than that, but she comes in at 11 11. So she's bigger than other five drops. So this will be our turn. Probably going to stun out both, and we'll get rid of Wolverine. But like an ideal scenario would be to play Bamf. I don't know why I said duck and cover there. Because we <laughs> Bamf. So, can be stunned while attacking. So, I should be able to KO them. Not stun out. Go to turn six. So, six is. Like a defensive turn, because they uh, they have initiative. Throw a plot twist into the row. Put a tech upgrade down there. I can use that probably. I put rogue out here, accidentally. So I'm gonna change my mind because rogue stuns defenders when she attacks. So her effect would not go off on defense. So we're gonna. Not play that, we would actually play Cable. He's just bigger statted anyway. Has flight and range, so he can go in the back. So, this is a pretty good board setup. So you have 11 11, 13 12, and an 8 6 Wolverine with a KO ability. So, turn 7 happens. Say so you're all stunned out. Maybe play Duck and Cover to save one of these characters. All for turn seven. Game's probably over by now, but it may, it may still go. And we do have our seven drop. So this is the row. Bring out the juggernaut. So he stuns a front row. He stuns target support row character. So he can ability to stun two characters. But that's my X Men deck for versus system. Wolverine, Jean Grey. It's a pretty fun deck. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are. Smash that like button. Hit subscribe. Thanks.